Mold exposure can impact our health in so many ways, and it's way more common than you think. Even in dry climates, sometimes the construction is poor and you can still have water intrusion into a building or a, a, a not aerated crawl space or uh, you know faulty plumbing that can create water damage. And mold will grow whenever there is water damage and will also grow naturally when there's, you're in a very damp and wet environment. So, so yes, mold is very, very common and it can affect people in many different ways. One, people can be allergic to mold and that's where you mount an allergic reaction. And that often takes place in like the eyes being red, the lungs being congested, the kind of nose and sinus being congested, typical allergy symptoms. And that can be very annoying and difficult. But mold can also colonize in the body and create problems related to that. It can colonize in the sinuses, rarely in the lungs, sometimes in the intestinal tract, sometimes even on the skin. And that can create issues related to it growing there. And then thirdly, mold produces mycotoxins. And mycotoxins are mitochondrial poisons. And so if you have colonization in your body, you can have mycotoxins being elaborated into your system and create issues like fatigue and slowed down metabolism, brain fog, etc. So what can you do about it? Thankfully, a lot. Um, mold can be First of all, you've got to identify whether you're currently being exposed to mold or not. And if you are, you need to remove yourself from that environment or remediate that environment as quickly as possible. So you remove yourself from the source of exposure. Secondly, you need to figure out, have you colonized in your body? And it's hard to tell sometimes, but you can do sinus swabs, culture those for mold, figure out if there's mold growing there, um, then treat mold systemically and locally. So oftentimes I'll use Argentin 23 spray, which is a colloidal silver spray, which has been shown to kill fungus, as well as break down biofilms. And you can spray it in the nose and, and, and actually treat the sinuses that way. Sometimes I'll, I'll prescribe um, topical antifungal sprays that you can put in a sinus nebulizer. Um, that can be helpful. Sometimes I will use systemic antifungals, and I would say oftentimes, whether they're pharmaceutical or herbal, you want to kill mold kind of systemically, including in the intestinal tract. And then thirdly, you want to detox mycotoxins. So orally, you can work with sublingual glutathione and binding agents, and if the situation is really really profound and a person is gone from being completely well to being disabled in some way, you might have to be more aggressive and work with intravenous detox of mycotoxins. So my favorite way to do that is working with the PK protocol, which flushes mycotoxins out of the cell membranes and then follows with methylating agents and sulfating agents to mop up what's being released. And of course, I combine that with gut binders so that what is being released through the liver through the biliary tract into the intestinal tract is bound up when it gets there. So it's whisked out of the body instead of getting reabsorbed. So sometimes I pair that with the hocket, which is an infrared ozone sauna to help with the pathways of elimination and even detoxing out of the skin. And sometimes I send people for colon hydrotherapy to really expedite getting the toxins out of the body when you're, fl when you're actively flushing them. Now, recently I was at a conference and I met a really knowledgeable person who started a company called Got Mold. And this is home testing mold equipment that you can, you can purchase and use to test your home. You know, for so many years I was using the Ermi test and I thought that was very helpful. Um, having people go to Micometrics and pick up the Ermi test and test their own home. But this is taking it to the whole next level where it is really professional grade testing equipment that you can use yourself to, to capture mold spores in the environment of your home to really figure out, do you have mold, yes or no? And this person that I was speaking with taught me something I didn't know. He said, in addition to mycotoxins being a poison that can affect you, mold produces uh, like volatile compounds, like organic 
compounds that that you breathe in that can affect you like like gases. And um, so far, there's no commercially available tests to test for this yet. Um, he's actively working with scientists at university to try to figure out how to to create a test that would be commercially available. So I think stay tuned for that. Um, but if you've ever walked into an environment that has mold, especially if you've been sensitized to mold and you immediately feel sick, it's probably from these volatile organic compounds that you're breathing in and not even like an N95 mask or anything is going to help you there. So this is just like these are compounds produced from damp environments, um, you know, mold growing in damp environments. So mold's a serious issue but do have hope that there are things that can be done about it. And I've helped so many people over the years go from disability back to work, back to life, back to feeling good. So you can too.